Ta-da! I also got pregnant while doing the bird box challenge. <laughs> I don't know who the I father don't know who is. The father is. <laughs> I just love the film. It changed my life. Um <laughs> No! Oh, it's sports bloopers. Get rid of it. <laughs> Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god! We gotta That's give not... it more than five seconds. Pro sports bloopers. Jesus Christ. That's uh, not a blooper, that's just little people. That's... Are they are they saying that, that little people are God's bloopers? <laughs> <laughs> that's quite quite a <laughs> It was just a shot of them standing there. Yeah. They're, playing, they're, a, they're a little twins, and they're playing tennis, Jay. Yes, that's not a blooper. <laughs> that's just their lives. If this is your first time using the video. Look, she's, a, she's not a real doctor. She's escaped a prison <laughs> and put on a doctor's coat. See that? You talking about her Hamburglar costume? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was in prison for an unrelated VHS fraud tape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Harold's oxygen. It takes uh, up half the stage. Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> they've, they've really increased technology. <laughs> since... Move your head. That looks like a Star Wars robot. <laughs> <laughs> Beep -a Oh my god, I just want to see a kid take a shit. <laughs> Patience, understanding, and technique. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> ah, ah, you idiot! You fell asshole. down, you idiot! Fuck you! Welcome to the 21st century. We finally discovered. Whoa! So that that releases the ear and releases stress. It's a lawnmower. How this lady got her hair cut? Voy a dibujar un cuadrado de una pulgada en este papel. ¿Qué cree usted que cabe en este cuadrado? Un par de cubitos de azúcar. He looks really nervous, like he's hiding something. Something deep, dark <laughs> secret. Well, the way he's posed, it's like when you're trying to, like, in a movie or something, when you want to keep someone out of a room. Yeah. There's yes. wacky shenanigans yes. going on don't in the back room. <laughs> What's behind him? Please don't look behind me. Yeah. There are a few tactics you can use to keep the flying shells and juice from going all over your sweetheart. Wait, did his he sweetheart? Did he just call her his sweetheart? He That's did. his wife. That's his wife. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> I'm calling the cops right now. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, she also looks like she might be a little slow. <laughs> god, double call the cops. <laughs> call the cops on 1993. Go! <laughs> 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 Using knee strikes and palm heels, whatever she can use at this point, knees that are growing, and so on. that guy in the back. <laughs> He's got the punch vest on. <laughs> he does not look excited to be there. <laughs> oh, there's... Oh, yes. Yeah! Oh. Yeah! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fucked his, him up! His disinterested look is what sells it. Oh, she had him right in the crotch. <laughs> yeah, right in the crotch! She keeps hitting him in the dick instead. Three, two, eight more. Oh my uh, set. Oh my god. The Dude, one wall bad. is up against a real wall, but then the curve isn't, because yeah. look at the base. Mm -hmm. That's not a real this wall. This is like a rug jammed under no, there, which makes me think that like yeah. some kind of oh, hideous hole in the carpet <laughs> that they just put like a great towel over. <laughs> How many cigarette burns do you think are in that carpet? Oh. <laughs> It was a white carpet. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just years of ash. Oh, that, that was the edge of it! Oh. Fuckers! 
Oh God! Yeah. This is like a serial killer video. <laughs> you know what it's showing off? Oh, okay. Uh, oh God. Okay. Jay, stop it! <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> Jay, stop it! Ah, come on! Get right in there. This is this is how this is how your dinner's made. <laughs> when are you gonna stop this? Should I stop this? Did we had enough? This music. It's, I feel like it's getting louder, like <laughs> they're trying to do some sort of subliminal mind thing. It's the sound of heaven getting closer. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. They're, they're kicking up the dance party now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's getting exciting. Switch four. Top hat. Switch. So, so you're saying with this video, there may be time travel involved, and one of these elderly people is possibly really Mike? Uh, uh, <laughs> he's the guy in the. He's the guy with the oxygen. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's Mike. why. It, right. That's why it looked like a Star Wars droid. Yeah, it was a yeah. signal to us. <laughs> Mike was trying to let us know. Okay. In the future, he made exercise videos. Well, I guess in the future he traveled to the past. This is very complicated. To make exercise videos. Yeah. I invented the osteoporosis dance. <laughs> 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 People. And remember, when you're an old, you can't move too much because your bones are brittle and your muscles are deteriorating and your body's falling apart in front of your very eyes. And that's where the hilarity comes in. <laughs> Hips and shoulders pressed to the back. That's a lot of white pants for people who are probably wearing diapers. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get brown oh. pants? <laughs> 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 Oh, it looks like Grandpa's up in that chair. Yeah. yeah! Oh, now this is getting ready for that anal video. <laughs> the elderly grandma anal video. Oh, are you talking about, I want to butt f your grandma? <laughs> is that the video you're talking about? Ow, <laughs> 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 oh, people. It's the pornography cinematic universe. Big, big, big California hunks butt fucking grandma. <laughs> this is going to be the next tape. Does it start off with, with Grandpa's hand, like, you know, slowly turning the oxygen up? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's going to need it. <laughs> and here comes Reno. <laughs> oh. It's all, it's all going to lead up to the fisting gauntlet. <laughs> the what? The, the the infisting gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying, oh, I think he's, I'm out. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> so let's keep talking about butt fucking, <laughs> right? <laughs> what the fuck is oh, he wearing? He's... Tell me you're not interested in seeing every single okay, one of yeah, these. No, I'm hooked. I am absolutely not interested in seeing every single one of these. Uh, Look at Reno! What is he wearing? I mean, like, okay, sexy cop, got it. Yeah. But, like, what is this? This is this is Craven the Hunter. This is the, He's yeah. a Spider-Man villain. He's auditioning for cats. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> this one is weird. They're all weird. <laughs> This one's really weird. It's Robert Ginty. <laughs> Robert Ginty. <laughs> oh, no. oh, look at that. Oh, no. But you want him to look like a real cowboy. <laughs> right. That's the fantasy, yeah. Right. Not a marching band cowboy? Right. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I don't... I don't even... Rich just wants to die. Oh, oh fuck. Should we fast forward to the next guy? Yeah. Okay. The... That's all I care about anymore. Wait, wait for me. Wait for me. <laughs> just, just, just so we're clear, Mike didn't want us to fast forward through the stripping cowboy. <laughs> oh no! What? Michael Jackson? <laughs> There was a picture of Michael Jackson on the wall. Oh! Rich, it's getting weirder! It's Michael Jackson! How is it getting weirder? It's Michael Jackson! A, a, a graffiti artist saw a picture of Michael Jackson on a wall. <laughs> and now, oh. and now fantasizing himself as Michael Jackson stripping. That's what's happening. There was a lot of like, 
oh, you know, energy and sending, sending, you know, your your feelings. She never stuff. said energy or healing. She just hooked the cat up to a magic mirror <laughs> brain reading machine. Did they show footage of that? Was I'm I out of the room? I'm assuming. No, it's oh, why? I'm assuming. Okay, it doesn't exist. Okay. She's in a room and like the walls are lined with those like old timey 50s computers. <laughs> and then like the cat is on her lap with this like giant helmet on the cat. And with, it's like, terrifying. Wires going everywhere. I, I looked it up. And it's just, she's just doing this. Like one ear of the, of the cat is just sticking out of the helmet. She's just doing this. And, 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 and the ticker, she, ticker oh, tape no. is coming out of the computers. <laughs> <laughs> she pulls this big switch. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, like the, real to real, yeah. like Han Zola and Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> All this elaborateness, and then the and whole then, rule of science is just reading the data as it comes out. No, the data just comes out, just says happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all of my efforts were. I've been we, vindicated. Uh, <laughs> do it. This to the cat made it happy. We did it, team. This cost, we did it. This cost seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Can we prove that I can pet a cat? <laughs> Oh, oh, they said the name of the film. The oh, there you go. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, it's so convincing. Crazy son of a bitch! Get the fuck in the doctor! Uh-oh. Oh, it's a one more, yes. Oh, this is a cool death. <laughs> Don't fuck this up, this movie. Oh, yeah! <laughs> this is a oh. cool death! <laughs> Drop it on him! Yay. Oh, man! I am re-engaged. Oh, yeah! <laughs> so, in the small cramped control room, there, somebody, somebody in our group shouted out something about deodorant. And, yeah, that was me. And you were prescient, because right after that, somebody said, I thought I smelt something, oh, that was my deodorant. Yeah. So, it was... A joke for us, but for them it was serious dialogue, I think. Afternoon, General. Oh my god, how many people can they fit in this frame? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope everyone's wearing your deodorant. <laughs> you wanna know something, Rieger? What? Your deodorant ain't getting the job done. Hey! Oh, deodorant oh, 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 it happened! Well, we all have the power of psychic materialization. Yes. yes. Oh. <laughs> we, we think something and then it happens in the film. Okay. Rich Evans is the strongest. He has the strongest of this power. He Although, has the highest midichlorian count. Yes. Although I am, I am, I am his Padawan learner, <laughs> and and my my poison Pabst blue ribbon psychic premonition <laughs> came true in this, which is rare for me. Yeah. But I'm yeah. still learning. I'm still learning the arts. Sure. Pachu pachawa. But there was a lot of trucks in this film. I'm, this us film. I'm using my powers to hold you back. <laughs> <laughs> to cloud his mind because yeah. I will only use them for evil <laughs> it's, for the, it's for the greater good of the world well it's clearly a situation like that where this lady who, he's, has done a lot of work before sure no one else has worked in this movie ever yeah. and, the, and so she comes on set and you know I don't know how old she was uh, 40s it looks something right, yeah, early and then 40s. so she's like oh you know like oh I'm still a young actress and they, yeah. they didn't want to say like no you should play the grandma you know whatever <laughs> Yeah. The wig doesn't help. And then, the, yeah, yes. well, let's put a wig on you, let's overdo the makeup, and you're going to play like a sexy young woman, and then it's like, Neh. And then we're going to shoot an awkward scene where, you, where half of your nipple is hanging out. Yes. Just half of it. Yes. Which won't translate, because we're going to have to censor it. I think that there might have been a deal um, that, that Rich could see into the past, and he somehow divined this, that it was that she would only allow them to show one nipple, yes. so the compromise was half of two nipples, <laughs> right? <laughs> But there's, it's a pretty awkward, and It's not uh, even like a, a sexy scene. It's her on the phone. Yes. Yeah, it's weird. Right. It's all around weird. So you rip open the shower curtain and scare me half to death? It's very confusing because you saw like her whole nipples. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just like half a nipple. She had a three nipple contract and they came in under budget. <laughs> <laughs> so the one plot point that they actually follow through on is essentially the psychic young lady. Young in a cosmic uh, timeline. Okay. Right. Like Age of the Universe time. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, Big Bang Young. <laughs> like, <laughs> Big Bang Young. Um, that could be a porn star name, but she basically, her and Han Solo. <laughs> her The 
that looks great. Bed. Take that. <laughs> that looked fantastic. That was great. <laughs> Max Landis is hung. Max Landis is hung. Max Landis is hung. Max Landis is hung. And then he escapes. He escapes and he vanishes from the movie for just long enough for you to kind of forget about him. And then Carolyn Monroe's running around and it gets boring. Um, and she's hiding behind a corner. There's an axe just sort of like stuck on the wall for no reason. It's a ring. wall axe. It's called a wall axe. Oh, is yeah, that like a security? They're everywhere. Okay. okay. No, it's, it's, it's a British thing. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's, it's very British. Every, every wall that faces east has an axe on it. Oh. It dates okay. back to like, like early, like kings and queens. Okay, and it's okay. A, it must have an axe on the east wall of every house. Because of the Great London Fire. Because of the Great London Fire, yeah, to chop yeah. your way out of the, the house that's on fire. Oh, yes! Yes! That was great! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Take that, Max! <laughs> that is a, it's a great scene, but at the same time, it's a terrible scene. Yeah. Because, yeah, she turns the, the faucet and, like, a different colored liquid comes out. You would immediately right away out. like someone else has been killed at that point. I, yeah. I think with chemicals. Yes, yes, yes. And I'd be like, oh shit, this is a, a weird colored liquid coming out. I'm getting out of the tub right away. Yeah. Or you know what? Don't take a bath when people are being murdered around you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she has a tiny bit of blood on her chest, Rich. What else is she supposed and to do? And her face, right? Uh, yeah. What is she gonna just go like <laughs> this to wash off her face? <laughs> the only only filthy Americans would just wash the blood off their face. The the Brits a full bath. <laughs> Head to toe. Head to toe, just in case the queen shows up. Only once a month, though. <laughs> Only once a month. No, 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 no. That's that's brushing their teeth. I was just about to say. Oh no! Oh! No. Come on. Oh, Ooh, sure. okay. Grocery store. <laughs> oh, it's a grocery store. Shoot them all. Shoot it up. Kill that grandma. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, I this love is this. Yeah. <laughs> this is yes. big. This is so great. No witnesses. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. oh, that was a nice one. <laughs> He's, he's ordering a headstone for his, his dead dog. I want you to get a tombstone for the little dog. A nice one, okay? With her name and the day she... You know what I mean. And then at that moment, Nighthawk is fed up. And Cameron Mitchell's talking about his dog headstone <laughs> while the window is slowly going up. And he doesn't, he doesn't even think to move his fingers. Just... Look on his face. He's gonna kill Cameron Mitchell. Oh, she's gonna do it. Oh. Yeah. Would you move your hands? <laughs> leads us to believe that some sort of rituals are taking place. However, unless we catch them actually breaking the law, or find evidence that leads directly to participants in some illegal activity, we have no case. So we have no case against people breaking the law if they don't break the law. <laughs> it's very insightful. And, and, and it's phrased in a way that that's a shame. <laughs> yes, yes. Doggone it. <laughs> but there are uh, one is the... Uh, pagan or occultic community and the other community is of course the homosexual community interestingly enough uh they go hand in hand <laughs> um, but here's the thing yeah. no he just likens satan worshippers to gay guys <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's, it's not that's even wrong it's, it's the wrong way up <laughs> it's supposed to be upside down it's horns up <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oh, it's a, oh, it's a musical. Yep. Answer the call and I'm Don't hug me, I'm scared. Uh-huh. 
Something reminds me of that. Yeah, very much. <laughs> Oh, oh, hi. What are oh, we doing? That there's... We did drug her, but it's for educational purposes. And so those would be some of the head markings that would indicate... Grandpa. <laughs> Can't wear a weird bikini? <laughs> Watch those fingers, Grandpa. <laughs> Look, the Satanist video wasn't completely worthless. I did learn that Satanists love anal. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they have a specific a calendar, calendar for they anal. They have a calendar for when anal is and isn't acceptable. So there's a very specific layout. Uh, spoilers, most of the time it's acceptable. <laughs> Satanists celebrate a host of rituals and ceremonies during the course of each year. A sexual type of ritual, anal, a celebration of orgies including anal, anal, anal. Anal, 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 entails anal. They should mark on the calendar when anal isn't accepted. It would be shorter. Yeah, it would save you time. time. Yeah. Pick, pick yeah, this the, uh, December 1st through the 3rd. Pick your gender. Anal, oral, and vaginal orgies that also include bestiality with any age or sex devotees. Pick your your, your, your hole, your age, your hole. <laughs> uh, it, oh, Pick your hole. It, it, December 4th through the 13th. Just fuck Anal's whatever. Anal's acceptable, gender's acceptable, and we move on to the next. Yeah. And we, you know, that's to be fair, like, even though there were these delineations between the holidays, they all kind of had the same they thing. They were just all like, anal holidays. Yeah. <laughs> anal, anal. Anal. What happens if you what happens if you do anal at a, a time that is not delineated? Do you Satan get gets real out? pissed. Oh, okay. He, doesn't kick he, you. Send, he sends you to heaven. He doesn't, he doesn't kick you out of thing. He's just like you. Anal, anal, anal. They would dismember bodies. Is that like a witch? Like a Halloween witch? Yeah, that's probably a drawing she made as a kid. No, this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> the reason she's blacked out isn't to hide her identity, it's because it's an actress. <laughs> oh, she met Satan. Another thing that is oftentimes done in ritualistic homicides is a penis is placed inside the mouth of the deceased person. Yeah. Well, it's 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 very important information for a very specific uh, group of people. This is a very targeted DVD. We are not the target audience no. for, this t for this movie. No, the average person is not the target audience. No. Unless you drive a school bus. Yes. But when what? you get your kids out of the bus, uh -huh. go that way? You not, yeah, not the other way. To the safe area, because when that train hits the bus, it's gonna <laughs> it could fling the bus and hit all the kids. Yeah, so you're, no, if no. the train's coming this way, go this way, over there. Depending on the right angle. Well, the bus driver has to sit there and do mathematical calculations. Like, when it hits the bus, it's gonna go this way. I think what they should really do is just run the fuck and never stop. That's fair, just, just run. Running. Just run. Fuck the safe zone. Yeah. Just keep yeah, running. Yeah, don't get to the point and be like, okay, we're safe right here. No, just run. Just keep running. Well, well, then, run then home. They keep running. Then you got a bunch of kids who like run into the woods and nobody can find any of the kids. So that's when that's when they, they uh, team that's up with Rem Lazar. They meet Rem Lazar in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> and Rem Lazar gets them back home safely. No, there's just satanic cults. With, no, like, there's no satanic cults out there. <laughs> they're waiting in the woods with like burlap sacks. No. By train tracks and for bloody, little kids. Bloody nooses there's just, and there's out there painting fucking upside down pentagrams on the trees. Well, no, the irony for the is kids. that there's not satanists out there. There's people making a police training video out there doing graffiti on the <laughs> trees. Oh. To look like Satanist symbols. Yeah. And then they gotta silence the kids so yes. nobody can find out that they're making fake satanic symbols. Exactly. So the children are saved from the police by Rem Lazar. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I get it. All, it all goes back to Rem Lazar. He always he saves, does. He saves kids in the woods and definitely doesn't molest them. Or are the woods filled with Catholic priests just waiting for kids to run? <laughs> oh no. Run out of the bus. No. Come into the arms of the Lord. The Catholic priest, they actually put like a spike strip in front of the railroad tracks. <laughs> <laughs> a lot happens in the woods on Best of the Worst. It's true. A lot happens. There could in the be there could be Bigfoot that are aliens. Yeah. It's almost like it's a place you don't need a permit to shoot at. Oh, yeah. oh, right. Um. Rem Lazar saved the night, and Rich, you need to explain to us what creating Rem Lazar is. I'm still not sure what creating Rem Lazar oh, is. The entire time. Oh my God, Rem Rem Lazar is a fascinating musical.
little, this little boy and this little girl go to the school and they have the same imaginary friend. Zach, I've just about had it with your daydreaming in class. I wasn't just- And I will hear no more stories about your imaginary world. When you're in my classroom, this is the only world there is. No more stories. Listen to Dana Barrett. <laughs> it's a weird school where there's nothing on the walls, and the the boy gets sent to the the principal's office, and it's just for, for having imagination. How dare you? Yeah. You know to go to school in a hospital. <laughs> He makes his way to the principal's office singing while a shadowy figure hides in the fog behind him. It, it looks him. like it follows. It's yeah. It's like fucking creepy. The way the kid's walking, too. I mean, he's got this dead look in his eyes. It looks yeah, like his, looks he's like walking like his neck is broken. And, and none of the adults like imagination in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. No, it's a very, it's a very anti-snuffleupagus <laughs> kind of kind of world we're living in here. The, the boy's teacher hates imagination. The principal hates imagination. I don't think the question is what we're going to have to do with me, but what we're going to have to do with you, all of you. Dude, Who are you talking to? I don't care. Nobody wants to listen. Not my parents. Not my teachers. Nobody. Fuck you. Principal the, Zod? The, yeah, the boy comes into Principal Zod's office is like, do you have any children? Do you have any kids? I like to think that all the students in this school are my children. And he's clearly got a picture of his kids on his desk. And he doesn't want to talk about them. <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> Josh, they were killed in a bus, bus accident. accident. I was <laughs> It's too raw. Oh. It's too goddamn raw. <laughs> I was just about to, to make that joke. He was in such pain he had to join a satanic cult. So the, the back in '61 in Greeley, Colorado, <laughs> my children lost all of their imagination. A train carrying corn syrup <laughs> killed my children. Little Timmy would be 42 years old today. Yeah. My nickname for him was Rem Lazar. <laughs> The children say they can sometimes still see him in the hallways. <laughs> he had blue hair due to a weird genetic anomaly. <laughs> no, the, the train that hit them was carrying blue dye. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, oh, <laughs> see, this all makes sense because then the little girl sees Rem Lazar too, and there's that scene with the two kids in the classroom where they're like, we're seeing this, we are having the same person in our dreams, yeah. and it feels like it's right out of Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, when did you first meet Rem Lazar? I don't remember exactly. He was just always there whenever I needed him. Yeah, me too. Nancy, you dreamed about the same creep I did. You're having dreams about the same person. It's the child of the principal that yeah. kid died in a bus accident. Yeah. And, and all, the, all the fucking missing persons are turning their heads. <laughs> it's all connected. Yeah. And the principal picks up his coffee cup and there's a coffee stain on it. Oh, yeah. Good night, sweetheart. I don't enjoy having to punish you. I do it because I love you. He's he pushing her for having an imaginary friend. <laughs> My little one. My little one. I like that it doesn't quite line up. Yeah. Oh God! Don't go oh, in there. Don't no, not down there. Nope. Oh God! Nope. No, okay, Man. hands are okay. Whoa! All right. Oh no! Nope. Psych. So, yeah. So far, all he's done is stalk someone in a hallway and watch a little girl sleep. <laughs> You're being a cynic, Jay. This is magical. <laughs> it's about children discovering their imagination. hurting my brain, like, yeah. like trying to figure out what it is. 
Can we just talk about the fact that they go to a, a, a deserted barn and they suddenly have a mannequin with them? Where did this thing come from? They have to recreate their imaginary friend. It's the most logical thing to do once you learn you share an imaginary friend. You have to go we to an abandoned to build barn. Him in an abandoned barn in the woods. Yeah. It wasn't creepy at all. Uh. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm careful. Oh, God. Created from your dreams. <laughs> what the fuck is this? But there's a problem. He comes to life. Magically, he comes to life. Yeah. But he doesn't have his magic medallion that will bring him to life. In order to, I guess, make him come more to oh, magically God. alive? <laughs> <laughs> come on! What, what, what do they have to do in order to make him come more rich? More, more, in order to make him come the more rich. girl to took life. care of that. <laughs> they, they need to find the chaotic medallion. Quixotic. The Quixotic. Quix, they need to find the Quixotic medallion. But That's their quest. Unfortunately. Wait, wait, that makes him come more? Thank you. That makes him come more to life, yes. Uh, uh. <laughs> Because okay, okay. he's already come to life. If they don't find that medallion before sunset, Rem Lazar will never come again. <laughs> Who thought this was a good idea? <laughs> okay, so they need to find the medallion which has been stolen by that thing from Power Rangers. Yeah. yeah. Ah! Oh, An Anton LeVay Octopus? Yeah. <laughs> And it's somewhere up high. It's oh, up high. Yes, yeah. It is hidden at the highest point that the mine can go. A place so high, most people are not able to find it in the course of their entire lifetime. And then he asked the little kids, he's like, what's the highest point you can imagine? And the little girl's like, oh, a mountain. And the kid's like, the moon. Yeah. The highest place you can imagine is the top of the World Trade Center. <laughs> <laughs> a quixotic medallion will be there on September 1st of 2001. <laughs> September 10th. <laughs> the morning of September 11th. <laughs> you have to be there to get the medallion. That's not it. That's the Empire State Building. It's really tall. It certainly is. But the building my dad showed me is much taller. And there's two of them. Oh, God. Oh, my God! God! No! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> How the fuck did you call that? <laughs> that was so random. <laughs> Rich, did you write this? Fuck. No, I did Fuck. not! Fuck! <laughs> well, what do you think? It's high! They're there, Rich. I know! I'm just saying, Rem Lazar is behind 9-11. Oh! That's all I'm saying. Oh, Rem Lazar melts steel beans? <laughs> <laughs> With the power of imagination! <laughs> The power of imagination brought down the top. I mean, I guess you, that's kind of true. What do you think the chaotic yeah. medallion's for? Yeah. 9 11 was a Rum Lazar job? <laughs> it was. We didn't know. Creating Rem Lazar, destroying the World Trade Center. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, street gangs? Do whoppers? New York's toughest. What the fuck? You know how it is. Do up gangs all in Central Park. <laughs> So what happens after they walk up to the World Trade Center? Oh, and they, they walk find, away. They find people singing doo-wop in the park. Under sky shining bright, we've got it all. Day and night. Yeah, we've kind of we've kind of skimmed over the songs. Yeah. They're all terrible and they're the singing is awful. But we shouldn't skim over them because they happen so often. Yeah. 
every couple minutes there's another new song. The musical journey through Central Park goes from doo-wop to rap. Hip hop, hip hop, rap. We got it all. Out of sync. To uh, and I was thinking in my brain as we were watching that they're going to do classical next. Oh wait, no, that's too obvious. We got it all. We're going to run into some other genre. Yep. Yeah, we are. I was going to say they're going to do what meets hip hop meets classical because that's the next progression of like. Extreme Different. genres, yeah. All on the way to 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, hey, look at this. Oh, little girl can play violin. She can play a tiny violin. How did she get there? It was just there. Maybe he was Satan, and you come by and you challenge him to like a fiddle duel. Oh. Yeah. That doesn't happen in Central Park, Rich. He can also, the devil can also challenge people in Central Park if he wants. It happened in Georgia. We know, we know from that video that Satan has loved the park. <laughs> <laughs> no, the devil went down to Georgia. Yes, it's literally, it's in the lyrics. <laughs> and that is a historical document, that song. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Hate is contagious. And you're catching it. Rich, I didn't know you were in this I, video. I totally wrote this. <laughs> <laughs> like me? No one has ever liked me before. All you have to do to, to make somebody that you think is your enemy your friend is to say, you are my friend. My friends, I'm sorry for the problems I have caused. I only wish I could reverse them. I tried that once are. through a bully in elementary school, and he beat the shit out of me. <laughs> so we're where we're we doing? Oh, we're talking about yeah. the let's, let's we're put talking about are back where it belongs. Yeah, <laughs> in the dumpster. Mike, that's yeah. a really nice shirt. Well, thank you, Josh. That's a good shirt. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Like a sweater. Like is it's it nice? Like it's warm? snazzy. It looks good on you. Uh, but so 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 they learned a lesson where they learned to make friends with their enemy. But it didn't help them but at it all. It didn't do anything. Yeah. So then they just moved they on? They still had to find the highest place they could imagine, which it turns out is just love? It's just love. The love that is inspired from the very start Hidden in the heart It is love that is even fire ah. mm. <laughs> They're ready to drink that Kool-Aid. <laughs> And it was a whole, the whole thing was a dream sequence and the two of them were in that weird abandoned barn with a mannequin. Yeah, and that's when the cop came in. Yeah. He was like, whoa. Rem Lazar. What the fuck you doing with mannequin? I think you better leave the doll here, son. The yeah, officer was like, why do I keep finding little children in this barn with yeah. mannequins? We really have to stop that satanic cult. <laughs> Sorry. He said specifically, you should go home, don't bring the doll. Leave, leave that weird mannequin. I'll take care of it. <laughs> the cop wanted to fuck that mannequin. Is oh, what yeah. Where did you find it? Someplace very high. Did you find it in a tree? Even higher than that. I don't know anything higher than the trees. <laughs> World Trade Center. Well, that's not very high anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a good transition. Yes. Because we, we've dissected what happens in Rem Lazar. But let's, let's look further. Why was Rem Lazar made? I we're, have we're no fucking we're, idea. We're speculating that it's a failed pilot. Yeah. Because it's TV like 45 series? minutes yeah. which 40, with commercials it would be. minutes, which is like two half-hour episodes yeah. once you factor in commercial breaks. In your heart I live forever In your dreams we'll be together You and I Imagination has no end Adventures to be shared with friends like Remlazar Remlazar 
It, it has all the like the hallmarks of like a kids show. It also has this undercurrent where it's like, is this some sort of like subtle cult introduction? Yeah, we've we, through the whole thing, we're waiting for it to take that turn, yeah. and it never does. And then we're watching through the credits, and it's got like a couple therapists in there, so it's like. Oh no, it's really all surface. If you change like the, the the highest thing you can imagine, if that if that if that's God and the whole thing is like belief because faith, then this video makes perfect sense. Yeah. yeah. But, but that it doesn't was never it. <laughs> it was the highest thing was never God. The highest thing was imagination. No love. But it's just the most generic things you can imagine, which yeah. makes me think they didn't give a shit about the message. They, well, I think they were just trying to come up with a generic message that would appeal to kids and appeal to PBS or some yeah. some so, network. We're, we're looking at gen, we're looking at generic positive. Like, do you feel better than you did when you started watching creating Rem Lazar? <laughs> I mean, we did. <laughs> I did. We we watched two fucking miserable nightmares, and then we got to Rem Lazar. Yeah, it's like a breath of fresh air. You walk through a park and got lost. <laughs> I feel dirty saying Rem Lazar. Like it sounds, there's something kind of like, it's like the word kumquat where it sounds dirty. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah, not. yeah, 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 yeah. Like oh. Rem Lazar, like I feel like I'm saying something where it's like someone's going to point out what that really means. We, we attempted to break down the name Rem Lazar. At first, we thought it might be an anagram. It was an unanagrammable. No. Then, then we what thought REM, 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 that's laser with the two the vowels, vowels switched. So yeah. laser's an acronym. Yes. And Rich has it up on his phone right now. Light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Also, TASER is an acronym. Yes, uh, TASER is an acronym, uh, which comes from... Thomas A. Swift's Electric Rifle? Yes, which was a, <laughs> a book from 1911 where a fictional character named Thomas A. Swift went on a safari hunt with an electric rifle. And he was shooting elephants and hippos and shit. He was shooting big game with an with electric, his electric rifle. rifle. So whoever invented the taser multi many decades later. It, would, it wasn't Thomas A. Swift. <laughs> no, that was a fake book. Yeah. <laughs> it was some guy. So what you're saying is the taser was named after this book. Yes. 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 And the book Six was years and later. And also the word Lazar sounds like bizarre. Lazar, I, th <laughs> I, th I, th I think is French for lizard. Oh, oh. So th that's why all these. Oh my god, like, he's a reptilian! <laughs> he's a dream lizard! See, all these things are like creepy and weird or like like lasers and, and for, violence. And for, and for a moment, I thought Lazar was Lazarus. Oh! Uh, a biblical oh. reference from of the, coming back from back. the dead. Yeah. But that's L A. So we have, yeah. we have, we have, we have, um, we have acronyms. Uh -huh. And and Lizard anagrams in Area 51. Reversed vowels. Area 51. Area 51. Bob Lazar. Oh Whoa. my God! Bob Lazar broke the case on the the, the Area 51. <laughs> and what does that have to do with the Twin Towers, Rich? <laughs> <laughs> it's all connected. They're gonna shut the program down. Everybody, save this! Oh my God! Oh. Stop! Stop! Project Blue Book. What? What? <laughs> His hair. Oh my God! Rem Lazar was made by oh! you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find the Twin Towers. Talk faster and louder. <laughs> louder, more intense. Louder, faster, louder, more intense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mother was a MacBook. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard the term "you're beating a dead dog with a broken stick"? No. no. <laughs> I've heard of you're beating a dead horse. <laughs> That's a 2087 twist. You know? Old classic. I think they were trying to be artsy with the like the sex machine. Time your pockets. I like a man who's hairy. Yes. And there was also like the dude one, which it was just like, that guy was just gorgeous. <laughs> it just like, it just turns the camera and he says something just like, I want you, Hawk. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like all right. Coleslaw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Why do you name a character coleslaw? Like, what, what yeah. causes you to do this? <laughs> I was hungry, okay? <laughs> I was eating coleslaw when I was writing the script. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, uh, he needs a last name, I don't know. <gasps> Eureka! <laughs> I'm writing a I'm writing a science fiction dystopian artsy romance story. My main character is called Hawk Coleslaw. <laughs> We'd like to produce this film, sir. <laughs> Which is just oof. Which the dog plays. The dog does, the dog does play. That's, with, that's with when a, the movie gave up. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like you see some fucking puppet arms. Yep. Sam clicking on the mouse. Whatever. Let's get this shit done. Do you think they grabbed that little dog's head? I, <laughs> and, and, <laughs> shut away. I mean, you, you see it for like a second. Its nose hits the keyboard. And, <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just picturing like, like five people holding. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> don't make me do it. I don't want any more treats. It's not worth it. The, the phrase, we're going to need another Quigley. <laughs> was mentioned a lot on set. And save them some money with craft service. Though. I was just about to say, yeah, there's some Chinese food. There's some Chinese food in there. <laughs> this Quigley's going bad. Chop it up. <laughs> There's, there's, there's not too much meat on a Pomeranian, I would imagine. <laughs> Quigley Stroganoff. <laughs> With a side of hog coleslaw. <laughs> it's so stupid. Okay, by the way, the parents, by the way, audience, I'm sorry, but the parents in Home Alone, yeah, they got divorced. That's just, that's canonical. That's, 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 that is canon. They also <laughs> lost a few children along yeah. the way. <laughs> They had, they had numerous Home Alone situations yeah. with various children, and yeah. now they never saw them again. Yeah. Home Alone 6, Child Protective Service! <laughs> <laughs> Foster care! <laughs> and also, Kevin is like younger in this than he is in the original, so yeah. I'm pretty sure they lost him, like, Kevin again, and they just got a replacement Kevin. Yeah. Looking they at, just yeah. found a kid in an airport and yeah. took him <laughs> home. Just like, hmm, like, this close, is Kevin. Close enough-ish. Yeah. Looking at They should have just brought you back. Yeah. And it would just been like, <laughs> yeah. you just I hang it around your house yeah. because you live on your I, I, th I throw a party. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and nothing goes wrong. I'll never be alone again. Actually, you've alienated everyone in your life. Yeah. So you're home alone. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants to hang out with me. It's real dark. Pretty good day, huh? Mm. It's not too cold. Thanks. <laughs> good idea having a picnic. Mm -hmm. Two of us together. That was some pretty good acting. <laughs> just, uh, just generally. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh no, my chicken! Oh. This is this is what happens to me every time I try to have a picnic. <laughs> Shoot him up. Uh huh. Bunch of random dudes with guns just cackling at me. Right. <laughs> hey you. Hey monkey. Get your bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Walk towards this thing I can weaponize. So no offense, man, but you're old as fuck. Why are you going after someone who's like half your age? Oh, there we go. Should have started with the gun. He wanted it to be personal. I, I don't know. Don't make excuses for him. <laughs> The By the rough. way, look, he's going to kick it back on the fairway, and he's blood that's going to kill him. This is totally happening. Play it where it lies! <laughs> <laughs> or is he going to come out and like demand you put the ball back first? Oh, wait, no, someone just did someone some, did some switcheroo with the yep. ball. Good job, that. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's wearing chains and stuff. Right? Oh, that was not Ow. sped up at all. <laughs> it's a commercial for how 
durable mom jeans on. <laughs> ah, the tall butts of the early 90s. <laughs> I promise not to say anything! <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Please let me go. It's gonna use her like a punching bag? That would be awesome. I mean, not, it's not awesome to hit women, it would be a visual. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. You gotta clarify your statements a little, Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Stingrays got me, I'm in the old Raycor warehouse on 10th and 18th Street. The old Raycor warehouse. <laughs> Rapeco. <laughs> Funny because it's true. <laughs> Metropolitan Police, may I help you? Yes, please listen carefully. My name is Christy Jones, and I need you to get a message to Sergeant Nick DeMarco immediately. Or anybody. Or just any, any yeah. police officer. <laughs> if Nick's there, that's cool. If not, just send a bunch of cops to the Rape Co. building. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never guess what's happening there. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you'd, you'd think the cops would just hang around the Rape Corps building. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They order 10,000 pounds of packaging peanuts every day. <laughs> Where's Brick? I don't know what you're talking about! Wow. <laughs> Thanks for throwing me right in the cup. <laughs> Talk or I'll blow your head off. Is that the Batman transition? Blood dead. What's Mark's wife's name? Uh, Mark's wife. Correct. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's a completely coincidental name. <laughs> <laughs> so he was very lucky to have married somebody whose name was Mark's What's wife. Your name? I'm Mark's wife. Yeah. Well, That's let's get married. And finally, everybody else is dead, and he gets up to Bill, and then Bill. Who's, who's the main bad guy? Bill's, the ba Bill's like the, the majordomo, like he's the guy. With the drugs and prostitution business. He's very sinister. He's the sinister Bill. He's not really very sinister. The mega criminal Bill. He's <laughs> the main boss. Famed, renowned, sociopath, scourge of the, the free world Bill. Contact the boys. Streets open. We're in business. Bill. <laughs> also known as... Billy. Oh, Billy. Billy. Yeah. To, to his mom. <laughs> Billy. Everyone else just calls him Bill. Bye bye. Billy, are you done shooting your movie? <laughs> Bill, Billy, can you get the pimps out of the driveway? I need to go to my doctor's appointment. Mom, I'm auditioning pimps today. You knew that. What was the famous Bill, line? you left drug pushers all over your room. Now clean them up. <laughs> What was Bill's famous line? I need you to round up all the pimps you can. Recruit more recruit, pimps. Recruit more pimps. <laughs> we need you to recruit more pimps. He's given a list of what to do. He's giving the, the crime orders. Recruit now that more he has pimps. Free reign over the city. Recruit more pimps and pushes. Recruit more pimps. More pushers. <laughs> Someday I want to be able to say recruit more pimps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've never said that in, in a serious conversation. No. To me, the most important scene of the movie is Grandma Stripper. <laughs> we forgot about Grandma Stripper! <laughs> the unsexiest stripper in all of Los Angeles. Just yeah, so this, this, is, this is how we introduce Johnny Meatface back into Los Angeles, is he's at this bar wearing the, the, the bright purple matching yes. uh, top and Same short shorts, shorts yeah. set, and he's in this bar where they could, there's a the stripper, and you first you see just her feet, and it looks like a horse, because she's not bending her knees, so it's just like these, these silver legs going like this, and then you pan up, and holy god, the boobs. It, it's the, the biggest pair of cans on the sweetest old lady face you've ever <laughs> seen. <laughs> And oh. she, she looks like someone's aunt or grandma, and she's just having a great time flopping these things all around. Also, no idea how to dance. No, no. She had a toy gun, if I recall. Right? And a cop she's like, yeah, yeah. Shit, girl. I bet you got back problems. <laughs>
I think that's it. And don't forget to click subscribe and like. Smash that like button. Smash that like button and follow us on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. <laughs>